Good afternoon and welcome to the UNFPR where they come to you from SLBC Television Writing Service Studios from New England. And inside the program today, yesterday when I be the 11, um, uh, be the World Population Day under the theme Family Planning na Human Rights. Well, as part of this week long celebration, the government to the Ministry of Health and Sanitation in collaboration with UNFPA and other partners there to celebrate this family planning week. And the topic for this discussion na need to invest in teenage girls. Well, for this um, discourse on this um, topic today, I get inside the studio with me, Patricia Bowen, a reproductive health program officer from the UNFPA. Good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon, yes. And also Dr. Francis Matz from the Ministry of Health and Sanitation. Good, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. Also inside the studio with me, I get um, Foodie Pool Camera, when are the program's manager, Marie Stop Stegelion. Good afternoon and welcome to FLBC UNFP. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, actually, me and the policy and advocacy manager for Maristop Salon. Okay. Program manager. Well, well, fam, well, you don't get STEM voices, then they will come out from different organizations then. And they are so today with me for discuss on the World Population Day. Well, for start with, I will go over to Patricia Ba, when I read Productive Health Programs Officer from the UNFP. Now, um, Madam Patricia, what more farm will go like for know about the World Population Day as Salon don't join other countries them for celebrating this day? Um, thank you very much. You don't already mention the actual day na be yesterday, we na the eleventh, and that day they set aside by the by world for May. We look at population issues, especially in terms of look at the indices for development, growth, and the day. And this year, um, the theme now for talk on uh, um, family planning, we now we all right as a population, as human, as well as man, we right for access and the family plan services. So now that's now the, the, the thing. And why we can always celebrate it? Because that particular day we did bring to the attention of the world, especially we in Nassau, on where we stand on population issues. And this year, so we focus more now for look at family planning being a human right. So we can use that day, day for sensitize, for tell people about the services we we can pro provide and how they can access them, and also for tell them about the challenges the way the population can face as a whole and how they express the government as well as support from partners and NGOs that will help for make sure say we address them. But actually, what size are those stand in terms of population? Well, we only see Salon get a population of a little over 7 million. And in terms of developments, um, if you look at the different indices, I will talk a little bit on, on the health side. We not the Namion Sabi this small, which supports my colleague from the ministry. You find that if you look at the human development, you go to the maternal mortality, a high. And when you look at the maternal mortality, if you look at the group within them and women, they will die. You find out say the percentage they over forty percent, or about forty six percent are adolescent girls that the more they die, and the reasons then you get so many reasons the way they lead to the die one. Then if you come back to even look at the literacy rates, if you look at the literacy rates also you see say salon will not team up fine back pan some of them in the system day. And most times they find out say we the woman then back if you look, we are most times deprived or we are left behind when you come on the issues then they so if you look at the child mortality, even down the back, if you look at the them where they die, especially under fives, or the new nest where they die, it high compared to other countries like Ghana, like Nigeria, like even them, more of Europe. Okay. So one of, one of the main issues we make, like at this particular day, we can use them for make sure say, we tell people them on how the country stand and waiting globally. Because this thing is not only for Sierra Leone, a global thing where everybody they look at. So how I want to decide for you use that thing when our family planning is a human right with you know the world population thing. When you talk about family planning, when you talk about human rights, you're talking about the population of the country, right? And for we in Sierra Leone, globally they don't look at us in terms of uh, the prevalence. Prevalence means the people that we really they use them, you understand. In, we know they do too fine in terms of percentage. We really know they do too fine. We do about 17%. So you will find out so we know they do fine. And as, as, as the world they look at them, 
if really woman and they use family planning, but could problem in the way we they face. Then but could die where woman and they die. It not go happen. Especially the picking them. The picking them teenagers. They unwanted pregnancies the way they can they because but call the pregnancy to be the way they want. It not go happen. They will get time for space the picking. We will decide when I want for born. Oh, I for wait, I forget to, I forget to, you will plan well, and then they will create room for the able kids are well for your family, let your family will live a better life, then the community will improve, then the country itself will develop. So it okay. is important. Well, continue for stay with we as CDA, the post where they talk about Patricia Ba, when are the productive health program officer from UNFPA. Now, um, I come to you, Dr. Francis Smart from the Ministry of Health and Sanitation. As um, you just know, you're with him, Madam Patricia, don't talk, and together we will also general for observe this thing. So, um, how the 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 the, the, the this um, um, team connects to the human right? Uh, the, it connects very strongly, and if you give a historical account of it, yeah, many years ago, fifty years ago, uh, nineteen sixty-eight. So nine people they come together, and then she say the need for the look at and say family planning na a human right and they be do that one day and they refer to that day, day as the world population day uh, the terrain uh, kind of a meeting where they been get the, the place where they will meet it so a uh, very important because uh, whenever we talk about population you know you go for talk about parts you go for parts of talk about deaths you go for talk about migration so in that sense, uh, family planning become very important because uh, if you, you, you don't family planning, right, you will not get pregnant. So what is actually the ministry itself to do for CRB thank you, able amend, you know, this issue of teenage girls getting pregnant as they say when they're not once because now we, we know say yes, my stop day, but what about the Ministry of Health itself? Well, Ministry of Health uh, itself gets a historical account. Uh, from 1994, we don't get this them bad uh, record here for long to uh, today. Okay. So from 1994, the Ministry of Health be established. In fact, when they start the reproductive health business, they establish and force as family planning program in the New England. So the family planning program don't grow, it don't be now in the reproductive health pro program. What they do with reproductive health and family planning, and uh, in the context of reproductive health, you get then components that what they deal with adolescence, what they deal with teenage pregnancy, what they talk about. But like I say, this don't be a public health problem for long, and you will see over the years we uh, maternal mortality, particularly the one where they can call maternal mortality ratio, where nine they can use the one they working they look at then human development index. Now one of the and this is what they can use. So for a very long time, just after the war, with maternal mortality being very high, uh, people that were the quota around then 2,200, particularly the UN people, government been the same at 1,800. We moved actually the first DHS uh, demographic health survey in this country. It been recorded as uh, 857 per 100,000 life births. So, but move on, we don't count the last, uh, the second DHS we will do in the country will have been the, the 2030 with the report come out. It is show say still the maternal mortality ratio they go very high. And if say it is then now the estimated as 1,165, where they are above the 857 per 100. And, 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 and for that particular yes. amount, would not the most affected one and the that is the point I'm making, but because now the maternal mortality ratio more than the end result. So in that particular uh, DHS report, the states, uh, two things, many things they were there against uh, adolescents them and teenagers, but two particular ways there, one uh, my sister they talk about first, then I like for example, the one day where they die from born picking business, 46.8%, uh, so then I like, where you take every hundred people them, where they die from born picking business, uh, 48, if you round that up, 46, 47 people them, then they die, where they did that age group from uh, 15 to 19. Okay. 
So and these are the, the these are the group who they refer to as the teenagers. But what's to that also for people to understand them very well is the fact that when they talk about uh, adolescent birth rates. So when you consider the birth cell, 125 for every 1,000 na adolescent cell. Okay. So you can see say, the one the way they born, then that la, the, the, then that's high, 125 out of every 1,000. And out of them why so, na for nearly 47, 46.8, where they die. So this is not a significant figure and by the time we continue for talk, we will tell you how down the significant because the losses to the country uh, in other areas like education is huge. Okay, well continue for story with we the first thing we the watch now Dr. Francis Matt from the Ministry of Health and Sanitation. And you can send your text message through the number 88 761-722 And I come back to you, Dr. Smart, with all the analysis they already make. And as Dr. Patricia be talking, they also talk about um, um, this um, literacy problem. Maybe now you talk about the one within the um, city, go understand you more. What about the one in our way, the, um, the interior, whether they access um, television or either radio for going to listen to like, the kind of um, um, analysis they are on the key or the kind of advice they want to give. How do I do for each? Because recently, SLBC also go, and then areas that they are most combined in the crisis, they're beginning to get belly, and a small, small picking there. So then they ask for like family planning for each and they end the day, because then they only get her once in a while. So, yeah, so like I've been telling you, begin to give you the age of the program, so we don't grow over the years, and because the problem still persists, so, we serve the uh, specialize more and try to refine how they do things. Uh, people will recall that most of the times with family planning business now they where body host have been there. Uh, now the hospital them, now the health facilities. But because of that target issue and where majority also na rural uh, level and that I mean they then the community there. Okay. So we don't put a lot of emphasis over the years uh, from so far I know, uh, before 2014, around 2015, also after that Ebola, even with UNFPA and those the partners like uh, Mary Stopes, we don't take the step for more family planning uh, from the facility level. Then we not say we move them more, but the services we can go down to the community. So by now, most of our engagements then, would they engage lot of uh, uh, development, community development uh, practitioners as we partners. Okay. So even currently, uh, we get a lot of activities what they do now with their community health workers who would on recently train where they nearly like uh, 15,000. Okay, well, I'll come back to you as um, you do listen to um, Dr. Francis Smart from the Ministry of Health and Sanitation. Now, make her come over to you for the poor O'Neill Kamala. We come out from Magisto. And as we still continue for discuss um, the World Population Day, which the theme family planning na human rights. You come out from Magistops. And we know say Magistops na one of the organization there with the help for family planning. So how you see this theme for this year's celebration? Thank you very much, Madam Moderator. Um, when you look at uh, the team, personally, me on view, and uh, my organization view is that uh, not the right thing because uh, we all know see when you provide family planning programs when you provide services for people for the woman and for even the man then, definitely you don't satisfy some part of the human rights we enshrined in the universal declaration of human rights because it's a right it's, it's a thing about right because if you provide the services for them, if you open doors for them for letting them access the services, if you give them the education for letting them get the, the, the information about the services and how the services will benefit them, and uh, if you try to collaborate with the government like how we did do, because we did collaborate with the Ministry of Health and uh, as we did complement their efforts, as we do that, then we did try to help the people for letting them access they didn't get access to waiting actually not the rightful uh, possession. So for me and for my organization, it is a rights issue. And that's the reason for which Marie Stoops, we know they just stop at the centers. We go beyond. 
with the gun and they had to reach communities for make sure see the least woman, the least girl picking with the na the community we don't become sexually active, we don't begin doing business, get access to But I'm really how often I can do that. Like inside the city in Ayasa with the stage is slow. Most of the people who say yes, Nayama is so located. And now we say when they go to the to reach communities them where again people will get access. But how often when I can do them particular mobile in the treatments and they for give family planning to okay. so people. Like, Fine. We we get we get we get we get centers. We get nine reproductive health centers. And then not to just reproductive health issues we we, we deal with now. Like we get general health what they deal with. Then we get ten mobile outreach teams we located now the respective district headquarter towns. We get one in Moyamba. We get one in Western area where they cover the Western area, the Western rural and Western urban, plus part of the Poloko district where they go towards Mashaka. We get one way based on Moyamba where they cover the entire Moyamba district. There is one way based on Bond Island, mainland, where in Matrujon where they cover the entire Bond district. Pujon, we get one. We get one way based on where they cover Bond district. And we have a team in Kenima where the outreach team where they cover the Kenema district and the lower part of Kailan district. There is an outreach team in Kono district where they cover <coughs> the whole of Kono district and the upper part of Kailan district. There is also an, an outreach team in Tonkolili district where they cover both Tonkolili and uh, Bombali district. And we get an outreach team again at Kwenadugu district where they cover the, the, the Kwenadugu district as well as the New Falara district. We get an outreach team in Kambia district where they cover the Cambia district, the, some parts of the Poloko district, like the Lungi area, Poloko itself, and uh, the Karine, the new Karine district. And, um, you know, we, then, then they move with vehicles. And uh, it's a team of service providers. You'll find out, say, even with drivers, they play a very great role because we they make sure, say, with drivers, they play around with the computer for make sure, say, we input, the input with data, where we they get. And we know they just stop at we staff them we get uh cbns who call community based mobilizers where they based our communities where we they give them stipends for let them work with the outreach teams <coughs> for mobilize people now decide the way with teams that are able to reach with the vehicles for let them come and come access the services so it's an everyday thing with the exception of saturdays and sundays for the outreach teams but for we centers we they work from mondays to fridays 8 30 to 4 30 and from Saturday 8.30 to 12.30. So we always they get uh, services where they provide to the, the woman where they now like then Yahweh area and above this street where bicycle set not the rich day. You go beyond uh, uh, Pujang Town, you know, where you go towards Bondapi area, beyond Bondapi, we start with outreach teams can go there. You go now Cambia district, beyond the Kumpuna area, beyond the uh, Kamakwe area, it meets with outreach teams and day. So it's not just about concentrating on the, the but towns here. But can even know the, 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 the amount of people and like where they're going for, you know, the, 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 the vaccine? Yes, of course, uh, it's, not about, it's not about vaccine, it's about the commodities, so the contraceptives, so the, what they provide. Yes, we get data. And uh, we get in, uh, the, the, the people where they input the data, and as they put the, the input the data, it fits into we click way now with software we now we they use, and uh, it fits into we main MSI system, and uh, we they contribute to even providing the data to the Ministry of Health. So 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 you they find out say whatever we do, we get data where we they go with where we go able for provide. We will able to tell you how much, how many people, how many women will be access the family planning contraceptives last year. We will able to tell you how many people, women will be access other services like pack services. So we we not just they do things you know, and and, and left them that we did. We whatever we do, we document it and it goes into our system and we also fit into the the uh, Ministry of Health the information management system. Okay, well, Fambo, the person where you just the, the watch the talk now, Fudi, Paul O'Neill, Kamara, when are the program? We yes. come out from yes. Marie Stokes, Sierra Leone. Well, Fambo, the program where you listen to now, sal a salon don't join other countries then, by the world for celebrate World Population Day with the theme family, now, family planning, now, human rights.
Now, when they come back to you, Madam Patricia, family planning is not a human right. Look into another aspect, um, not a religious aspect. We know say most religious people know they allow their woman to take family planning. Do you and FPA be ever look into consideration in that? Um, thank you very much. Uh, this for me is a little bit strange um, in the sense that um, UNFP in other countries, then, for example, in the Gambia, where they get um, um, predominant Muslims, where they can look at family planning as something we're not good for a, a man and woman, don't get a whole conference where imam them, they talk about the necessity of family planning. The, the problem here is not it's not a um, religion they um, stop people they know for use family planning the problem is that the the, the, the meat or the all things that people that they talk the, the side effect what people they don't understand say now in the family planning they do now in the people that they afraid for take family planning commodities like putting the brother the daughter for for family planning a lot of research that don't take place globally as well as in country, yeah. So if you look at us alone, Muslim, Christian, you name it, they join family planning. So the issue here is not about religion. The issue now for long we educate the community, let them see the need of why they for take mind you, Dr. Smart don't give um, the statistics of women then where they die and picking the way they die. When that's in the way, we can able to say, we can able to say about 90% of them death they need. If only we give them the right message, if only we're able to guide them for access to the services at the right time, we can able for prevent them to them. Why? Because if you look at the causes of them return at death and the way Dr. Smart did with the top budget, so that percentage will give you, you will find out say, so when they become the then they get belay because they're not they're not even get idea. So tell the first way they begin doing my men that the business. Now that ten day then, then they get pregnant. But if they're picking a day about family planning, if they're picking a day we don't educate them about the need, the necessity for joint family planning, at least we can able to save that death thing. Then the other thing also we I can I can always talk about when people they say it's religion. It's not religion because if it's not back you look so picking a day, so women they would develop some complication the way, for example, girl one would they call fistula, whether they get being born. But if then people that they join family planning, if we don't give the community the information about the family planning, we can even prevent some of their complications that they would we will call during childbirth. So for me, in the, the aspects of religion, well, very few, maybe not they will get that kind of perception, eh? but I want to tell you, say, religious people then equally, they go for family planning, and I know if say religion day against us. I should say what religion would day against, now where you go point where they die. Where family planning will protect. So, we will not ever witness anything like that? Well, I, I, I want to go to a little bit that because the, the world, the way it is, not to win no more today. But when you look at uh, what you can call the contraceptive prevalence rate, hmm? how uh, women in the youth, particularly married women, the, the contraceptive methods, will get Boku Arab country then. So, if we talk about Muslim, I mean religion, we get Boku Arab country then, where that the CPR. Far high. You take Mauritius, for example. So also you can you will get Boku uh, Christian countries. So uh, it's not limited to just that. The cultural issues with my sister they explain the many way then they add to what people that they think about family planning and then they exactly the work what we they do. For educated enough, when my brother, uh, Mr. Kamara, will talk about, would they give reproductive health information to, so that they can understand? They can also understand about then side effects, them, where they worry them, where they're not supposed to be worried. Then side effects, them, uh, almost any medicine can get small side effects, it will make like you want to throw up. And not as dangerous as the post the left part, bone picking business. So for teenagers, their young kids entirely different. Uh, the teenagers and kids different in the sense that a good number of them, those where they go to school, they are well informed. Some of them, the information where they lack now about services, would that then they go consult when they are in problems. Instead, they come to the one that where they know, those who get experience, then they go to their peers. Then peers, they get bad experiences. They know they tell them 
and what they tell them that they back the way for do things. Then they tell them stories. My sister was talking about perception. Perception are waiting positive. You know, get anything we get truth in them. So now that that's the problem with uh, teenagers. Of course, for teenagers, for the one that they go to school, right? That are the part we want play for make sure so they get enough information. We go make the use uh, family planning. And when you look at with DHS data, them actually the unmet needs for them when they all talk so is very high. Which means we get some work for do on the supply side more, but okay. the religion is not too much of an issue for most of the young people there. So well, plenty. Thank you, Fambul. We get people inside the studio with me today for discuss on the World Population Day. We now with the team family planning now a human right inside the studio with me. I get Patrick Shaba. We now the productive health program specialist at uh, the UNFPA. Dr. Francis Smart from the Ministry of Health and Sanitation, and for the Paul O'Neill Camera, we are the policy manager from Marie Stops. Well, fam, we get for go and get the minister's speech where he make for this year's World Population Day celebration. And when we come back, we go talk on the topic when I invest in teenage girls. Today, 11th of July 2018, we celebrate World Pop Population Day. The theme of this year's celebration is family planning is a human right. 50 years ago, the United Nations International Conference on Human Rights resolved that parents have a basic human right to determine freely and responsibly the number and the spacing of their children. This resolution Im implies yes to planning by the family and a big no to planning for the family. Family planning thus became a human right for the couples to exercise, not population control to be imposed by the state. You know, this itself is a game-changing realization. Women and girls have the right to avoid exhaustion and the danger of too many pregnancies too close together. Men and women have the right to choose when and how often to embrace parenthood. If they so desire, if they want it at all. Every individual has the human right to determine the direction and scope of his or her future in this fundamental way of life. So today, as we celebrate World Population Day, we are effectively com commemorating with the rest of the world that this is a landmark agreement. We celebrate the World Population Day to ensure that future generations never take this hard-won human right for granted. It has to be noted, however, that even after tremendous progress being made from 1968 to date, hundreds and millions of women, men, and young people all over the world, including those in Sierra Leone, are unable to exercise this right. They still have millions of women, even in, in our con con country, that lack the access to basic contraceptives. Therefore, family planning information and services cannot be restricted on the basis of race, sex, political affiliation, age, economic status, etc. Family planning in itself is, is a service that must be available, access, accessible, and acceptable to all. Um, such implications, therefore, suggest that we should respect human rights. We should respect the implications of such rights. And we cannot deny access to contraceptive services based on lack of authorization from either the husband, the partner, the parent, uh, or if, in fact, the woman is unmarried. We should protect human rights related to family planning by ensuring 
that third parties do not limit people's access to contraceptives and to fam family planning. Today, we join the rest of the world to, to celebrate this landmark resolution to provide the required family planning and sexual reproductive health services by government to 1,300 1, family planning clinics. We also want to confirm that government is working to address the supply chain to ensure that the required con contraceptives of the right quality are available throughout this country, irrespective of how remote the area you find yourself. Today, therefore, is a commitment by the Ministry of Health to young people, that, and especially to adolescent girls, that we will strive to ensure that your rights to good quality family planning information and services are upheld without fear of exclusion and stigma. We are determined to work with all Sierra Leoneans to reduce the unacceptably high maternal mortality in the country. Please recognize that His Excellency the President, Brigadier Retired Julius Madabio, in his inaugural address in May, clearly highlighted that as a nation, we must work out to provide um, 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 adequate health services for women and girls. Finally, let us all join hands to uphold the right to family planning services. And for all our citizens and partners, in particular the UNFPA, to ensure the health and the well-being of our women and children. I thank you. Well, Fambo, that's now Dr. Alpha Tijan Wugi, we are the Minister of Health and Sanitation, we self be the gi in your word um, towards this year's uh, World Population Day celebration. And as we day out with we studio guests, them, then self gets a few words of waiting um, the minister said. I will start with you, Madam Patricia, from UNFPA. You get um, a few words from waiting the minister said. What do you get for saying to you guests? That? From his speech, he stressed the importance of everybody in right to family planning with specific reference to the adolescents. Okay. Adolescents because we find out say if most of the problems they will really get. If we are well if they are well catered for, if we really guide them, if we really provide the enabling environment for them, we will really reduce some of the problems they will get, especially maternal mortality, especially the dropout rates in school, especially the crime rates. So many things that they will be able to address. So in speech clearly state and say it's good for everybody for access and everybody for you get now you right. When I say you get right, you get we can also we get right to freedom of speech. People that you say we get so family planning also is a right for let you grab. Nobody no coerce you, nobody no force you. You go, you go get you what you join your family planning, you take your meds, you drink her. Now you right also for say, okay, well, I know one join family planning, okay. I won't forget four or five people. So it is really try for tell we say yes, family planning is important, but it's more important for we encourage we are to listen for Well I people. think um a minister that is speech get for lead me to the topic for this discussion we now for invest in teenage girls. But before we go there we get some text messages then I am. This one they go to um for the Paul O'Neill come away come out for Mary Stops and he say invest in teenage girls is vital in area of infection and cleaning. But religious leaders are questioning prevention. What is your take? And okay. this other one say the issue of teenage girls' parents also to be blamed for the upbringing of their girls. So make us start with you for this. Yeah, thank you very much. Um Interestingly, uh, it's necessary for actually investing in teenage girls because uh, from the societal point of view, from, uh, let me put aside the religion, okay, just the coming system in the scene. The, the religion, not to in actually per se, they stop we from providing those services. It's about the cultural and traditional norms the barriers, most of the barriers really are from the homes. Most of the barriers are from the communities. You know, but let me look at the situation, we guys the situation in this country. Um, last year, the government of Australia, they make three major commitments. 
And within one of those commitments, now the family planning summit in London on the 11th of July 2017, one of those commitments, one basic thing where they, they been there inside it was that the government want to reduce the unmet need for family planning for adolescents aged 10 to 19 years. That they tell you say the government no say most of the beginning from the from age ten they don't begin human business, okay. and if we go back to Dr. Afauri in in, in last towards the last statement, he say the government don't make a commitment for make sure see the adolescents and the teenagers then yeah, get the right information, information. and yeah. access to quality family family planning mm -hmm. services. So if the government is saying that then they provide services, quality services, and the information. And the commitment again last year, get something about comprehensive sexuality education for being included in the school's curriculum. Mm -hmm. That's a commitment the government made. And we as partners, we they try for uh, co contribute, okay, okay. you know, contribute to the government in efforts for meet the government interventions where they don't decide say not then they do. You know, those are the things we want for follow suit with. Now let me look at the, the, the teenagers' uh, situation in this country. The DHS, just like how Dr. Uh, Smart been say, we get the highest fertility rate among adolescents in the sub-region. 125.1 per 1,000. As compared to like Liberia, we're 114 as, uh, per 1,000. And so, what can happen? Because of the high fertility rate, any girl picking, we don't grow that fast. It is, as you begin my business, the tendency for like belly is greater. So if you don't get belly, what do you think can happen? It either drop out of school, that is one. Secondly, uh, it is going to early marriage because some families, the moment they pick on get belly, what do they do is they say they go talk to the man. And for thirdly, the, for the law, we come back to this person, your question. Yes, I'm coming. You, 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 you as the person is saying, religiously, there's any question prevention. But for, for you, me, you, for you me, that's for me, for do it. For me, it not get anything to do with religion because we get religious people who will tell you, say, there is something about prevention of pregnancies in the Bible or the Quran. But that's not my area of uh, expertise. Mm -hmm. I know I'm good at. But for me, it is not about it. the religion they tell you, say, you for born picking and make sure, say, that picking when you be born. If for be picking when you will take care of. If you not take care of that picking, a hack it. That's okay. It. Okay, make a count to you, um, doctor. You just get this person a, 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 a message before we come back to you know, as the, or the other person say back for a, 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 a being picking and come up the combine also get a great role for play. Okay, that is good, but I, I'm not sure how people are satisfied with the question. I'm not saying, yeah, anything, but what are the try sites? 2007 in this country, uh, through the support of UNFPA will bring the sultan of Kano, uh, uh, right? The biggest uh, religious head, you know, in, the, in that state of Nigeria, here. Okay. So that was when we talk about that prevention. Now we could be talk, what in the inside reproductive health business, now they talk, talk, when a perception, when most of them are meeting, people do not understand. And that's why we are there. Uh, instead, you misunderstand and die. Can't do masters and be homes. People that need that. Not just that we are green and we are willing to do it, right? Now the issue around the parents, parents, where they rule. Nobody will really rule out the role of the parents. In fact, when you study adolescent health properly, uh, tell say that the protecting factor now one and down day. They're the same religious home, so they will call the parents them because they spend most of the times. You see how they go around, but let me also put this into context. The world has changed. The information technology, particularly for adolescents also, don't progress so much. So yes, we as parents, Mr. and parents, I get adolescent, I get 14 year old, right? So all the things that we are exposed to the world, for year, you get right to them, right? And also, so that they matured very frequently. So I think, Parents, their role here is that for understanding, picking them, expose them to uh, sex education. If we make reference to very civilized countries, they don't even vary their ages, then would they be the exposed picking them. So, countries that before, now be then 15 years, so then they change them to 12 years, now they don't even change them to 8 years. So, then they, so you can see that, 
yes, the role of parents very important, and particularly one area with important. You know, we don't talk about sex, uh, particularly with parents and children, but in reproductive health, we they encourage parents then uh, that age. You know, so uh, the information what they give to people relate to the age. So you can see that sometimes some of the activities they target parents when we mean we indirect targets na the bikini. So we they tell them which age appropriate messages for tell them and that, that parents not for shy from. Okay. Tell them about sex according to the age. Okay. Where they will understand because it will Zero. prevent for men and die. Metana, early metana death, and you lost his all go, and that Zero is the focus eight, really eight, what we're talking about. Six one seven two two. Now the number where you go send your text message if you get any concern towards you know this program today. When are the world population day? When are be yesterday? And today we get um representative from UNFP Ministry of Health and my stocks with Kaya today for can discuss on the topic the need for invest in teenage girls. Now the need for invest in teenage girls. Why the need? Because one for empower them, invest in them in their education, invest in make sure say they get the right information, and once they get all that, they become empowered. Me and you sit down and we are empowered. Why? Because the parents, the, the community, and the government invest in we for make sure say we come out for be a good citizen. We also will add up to development. Um, when are the listening where the two panelists then they discuss on the issue of the prevention and religion? Religion they, they, they preach on prevention. One of the young key one are on the area of abstinence. Say picking you for married before you do mommy and daddy business. So now you want to do that with So then they, that's one of their own no, way that they the pass for discuss. Uh, that's also part of family planning. But one thing where doctor talk where we listeners then get for know is that we are living in a global world. The picking they get information with me and you, you know, even know, you understand. Okay. WhatsApp they now, phone. Text messages, uh, uh, peer pressure, all the way they did. They were picking and they get the information. So, religion not they stop you, say, let you not prevent. Religion they tell you, say, if you have not started as an adult, don't do it. But if you have started, then you get for go further and take the next step. And that next step is family planning. Mm -hmm. Doctor talks on TV. We all now we see the winner parents. I don't know about you, but we all be as panelists and we say we are all parents and we get teenagers, we get adolescents. Why we need for investing them? We need for investing the adolescent girl so that when they picking they become empowered. You know, say like a me, I get girl picking, I get boy picking, so I know how they do that age, me get 17 years old, I picking. At the age, if they class five, now they begin tell me about uh, 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 um, masturbation. So I begin to class five. So I begin to ask her, pull that word. He said, ah, mama, I didn't teach you that school. The next way he can, he begin to tell what? Ovulation. The next thing he begin to tell, he, he, he admire a company where they see them period at the age of nine. You know, begin seeing see that around the age 13. <laughs> so straight off, as a parent, we need to educate them. We need to make sure to so begin to tell them. But Madam Patricia, um, this um, education mm -hmm. for the, 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 the adolescents then, now governments and people are always based upon the girl picking them and then they educate. And you they find out that even when they say free, they give themselves belly, not picking them. What about the boy picking themselves? When are then they give the girl picking them belly? No, you know why I make most times people they feel saying that the girl picking them no more? Because then they show the, the results mm -hmm. of God. where we know they give them the information, mm -hmm. and then they become pregnant. But we educate the boys then equally. For they say they don't educate them, but they know that they educate them. But we say we focus more on the girls because when then when then they they suffer and then at the end of the day they become pregnant. And then they, at the end of the day they drop out of school. Okay. Whether school or body go to school. So most times we really focus on and say if you when not say that you get for took the heavy load. If you don't get the information, say ah for you condom. I no go get HIV. I no go get gonorrhea. I no go get syphilis. If you don't know, say if I use family planning, I no go get belly. I no go die of teenage pregnancy and out of teenage pregnancy. Then, in as much as we talk to the bobo them, but we really need for focus back the on the girl picking them because at the end of the day, now then they carry the, the, the heavy load. So now that's me, but we educate both the boys and the girl. and most of the programs where they on family planning. It's not only for women. Now the other thing that the people follow. Man they save the joint family plan. Man they sit down and look pin say he say hey. so say he wife into fat time because some woman they 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 they, they, they born fast fast, fast fast. So that man so say don't go one two pick him. He don't go three. See the woman they go back. He don't go to number four belly. So say don't tell them for joint family planning. In the drag food. The man get guys so go join family planning. Okay. 
Okay. Man say say they go go join family planning. It protects himself. So it's not only woman that the mistake that we do. Okay, um, Mr. Fode, you just say wait till um uh, Patricia just don't talk about the need for invest in girls. For my too. Yes, um, the need for investing girls. We look at with girls them today. You find out say a lot of them they get peer influence. Now, the the, the kind for when me and you not be the use. They tell all this school. Me and Dr. Smart or Madam Patricia be the use of this school. Now we begin at the user. And then they go and download a lot of information. So if we not try for make sure say we invest in them in a way that we give them the education, the information, we make sure say we give them the protection. Protection in the sense, one, if girl picking don't be, not begin my business it, you can preach to her about abstinence. But when once girl picking on begin my business, the best thing to do is take her to a service provider for men, then make sure say them to it, it prevent any form of pregnancy. Because the moment because as long as that girl picking they in contact with that man with the flower, no matter what you do, it must the gam within a while. And the the, 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 the the end result will be Pregnancy. Yes, to you, um, Dr. Francis. So why the need for investment? Uh, I'll, I'll give you two instances. They need them beaucoup, but I'll give you two instances so very vivid. Uh, we are four here. Okay, the other guys are on the other side. But you, not been teenage girl before. She was before. Uh, instead, not being a teenage man, you should pay attention to the woman them because of how they expose. But see how we use that. So when you invest in teenage girls, now they bring development. So that the first point that otherwise they will end up being dropouts from schools, and when they become dropouts from schools, uh, or they in any situation when they are not empowered, then their body not they sound good. Education very good for women in their body, but that is just one point. But the failure of that they lead to my second point. Which is, it is known from research that when a teenage girl get better, apart from the in body way not prepared for that and all the other risks that way there, socially also not prepared. So that picking way in the bone, right? Instead, equally exposed. In fact, some sickness and there's some issues and the way they happen to the mommy, they are likely research don't show say it will happen to the picky. So this is not a vicious circle. A very meaningful government will target, it will go many people there, and the minister emphasized that they will target adolescents because this now will feature, right? So if you don't target them and invest in them, you now a vicious circle, you are creating more problems for the people because one, the adults already come will not be successful, they were not empowered, but not only that, the next generation is also destroyed. So this now. Uh, they lose twice, like what we can say in sickness, uh, double body. So you don't become a teenager picking uh, mama, then you pick it instead very likely for become uh, picking mama. And so therefore poverty they revolve within that uh, family. And trust me, as we all day here, we own picking them, they own features slightly different from ours. So those who did not reach that stage will reach because of how they, uh, you know, not being getting opportunities. The young picking they equally uh, fall short in the society okay, development well, of this country. Um, as time not day in favor anymore, but I'll make her go over the last messages that we will get before when they come back to the guest there for me. Then we will give them part of statements there. This one say, Madam Presenter, today the causes of teenage pregnancy is cohabitation. We not talk to me. He said, trust me, this one they come out from Abdul Al Mansare. And this other one say, we are thanking at the studio for enlightening me because this, the picking the self don't take this habit for picking, born picking business. And this don't pass mark. Say, the picking and self, now they want to own mama before their time. Concerned citizen. Then, as they come to you, as you get sponsored to this, he will also give you a um, final message. Before we left the studio. Thank you very much. Um, the, all the, the people that we send the messages, they get a point. We no say yes, the picking that says self gets the own role for play. Because once you're not picking, picking get for be picking. 
I remember we will be the launch the teenage pregnancy in um, 2013, where the, the ex president, uh, the men shall say, picking them for old book, not for tote picking. We let kind of for only book and study. So for me, waiting at the try for say now is we all get a role for play for address teenage pregnancy or for address the problem with adolescent and the face, even crime rates, even uh, um, uh, drug abuse. How will they do that? The community gets a role for play. First thing, we that the community they help for men you pick in. By that I mean even when we they keep where you go to school, but if, if neighbors see you a man, if they take action, you pay against them the vex. So we need that com community engagement, community involvement, community for participate. Then also, finally, we also need the parental role for, 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 for act well. We get for play with part together with the schools. Because if you the parents, so parents and they, if school take action, it will go react. But if we now see one road, if Pekin takes in at this world, we provide an education at school, we provide an at the home, we provide an at the community, I believe so. Okay, over to you, pregnancy. um, Fodi. Yeah, um, one, there's this adage where the way we the always hear we say, when you educate a woman, you don't educate a nation. And um, when you look at we woman, we girl Pekin and today, honestly, if the moment you invest in girl Pekin, up to the time where, by the time when it go to university, as it is done, you they find out, say, for most of the jobs and now, when you even go for right. interviews, you you the man, you get for be stronger. You forget for make sure, say, at least you beat the woman when you're into the go for interview for That's a particular true. job for like 15 max and above, or else, now that woman they call. So that tells you that there's a need for level invest in the girl picking it. And the girl picking it easy for go astray because the moment they don't get, begin get, um, do my main that the business, definitely. Then they easily get belly. Okay. And if they don't get belly, not to the way picking the drop hole. Now the girl picking any drop. drop. Over to you, Mr. Dr. Francis. Yes, uh, we need for invest in the girl children. And uh, this very important. Uh, I want to repeat this part that for the development of this country, uh, the woman them, and I tell you, you go deep down, the success even of the boy picking them. Now, as a result of the success of that, of that mommy. So, since the girl picking and they become mommy then, it's a very good thing for me to invest in the girl when they become the mommy. That's very important. And I think uh, for the country development, uh, like uh, Mr. Kamara say, we investment for be more in girls so that they will stay in the school. And according to the president's in, 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 in statements, eh, we need for focus on adolescence eh, so that we will be able to get a generation of women who are highly educated, highly empowered, and also it easy for deal with some of them problems okay. that will get permitted. Well, that. plenty. Thank you. With that, that's what we get for say goodbye. And today, Mr. studio guest that today, we get Patty Shaba from the Reproductive Health Specialist Programs from the UNFPA, Dr. Francis Matt from the Ministry of Health and Sanitation, and for the Paul O'Neill Kamala, we are the Policy Manager for My Stops. They will be there today for discuss on the topic need to invest in teenage girls, as yesterday will be the World Population Day with the theme, Family Planning, na a Human Rights. And we will bring this program can to you today, my name is Maria Masuma. Plenty thank you to so, Unawe send Una messages there and to my producer, Una Sarake Bio.